take me through your creative process because I I loved that pro- like your idea of the of oh, yeah. of the Harry Potter thing like so word hard. like how does it <laughs> <laughs> it was cool I'm like I'm not I'm not excuse me much of a Potter fan or my girlfriend's gonna kill me but but yeah like you apparently put me in the house which I was I took a quiz for it was I think Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff which were those all the lockers so but yeah like uh, where how do you start even then okay. or now how do you plan your whole creative this thing all happened. and I'm actually very proud of it except for all the parts that are super awkward <laughs> aka the parts with me in them but what I loved about that is I got to like sort of experience on my own what it was to like like think of of dance styles as a character because I had Mm. been kind of experiencing that a little bit on like at the time like with the four dance crew oh yeah I was dancing like as a character so it's never just choreography there's always a story component oh that was kind of like my little foray into like figuring out what that means like how to dance and embody a character so it's like a Gryffindor Gryffindor (laughs) is like Leo energy, swaggy, like kind of like if I was in Gryffindor, like I would be doing like this a lot. Like you can't see, but my butt's moving. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, boom. Like a little powerful, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of like the energy, like sassy, powerful. I can see that. Powerful. Yeah, you definitely embody the. <laughs> and it was so weird because I was like so camera shy, and I had never organized anything like that before. Oh really? Yeah, and then I had just like a thousand people in my house all expecting things to go well. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm big. It's like, that's very like typical of me and Chanel, who like me and Chanel, she's my friend, she like directed. It's very typical of us to go like way too hard. <laughs> Dude, I, if, if that was your first time. I, I didn't you know. I just thought, you know, because it was really going late, I was like, ah. Oh, Typical production shoot, you know, running late, whatever. And, it's it's the- and dance stuff is so different than film stuff. That's what I learned too. Like the expectations of dancers, especially dancers who are not industry dancers, is very different than mm. like actors. Like yeah. actors assume, like, okay, what what kind of day is it? Eight hour day, ten hour day, twelve hour day. They like understand that you need to get shots from like 25,000 angles. Yeah. They understand that, okay, we're going to adjust the lighting here. Okay, we're going to modify that. Like they understand that. Angel lens, yeah. But dancers, like, I feel like the the expectation and my lack of experience was like not helpful because I should have been like, it's going to be 24 hours. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Because when I left, you guys were still shooting, I think, right? Yeah, we shot until so late. But it was it was okay because there weren't that many of us at the end. There was only like two people left at the end. But yeah, so Gryffindor, I was like, and then Ravenclaw. I don't know why, but I just felt like like I had just been learning whacking, and it felt like very like like precise yeah. and very clever to me. Like whacking, like just feels like yeah, it's that energy, but it also feels so sharp. Yeah. So it felt like okay, like that's Ravenclaw because Ravenclaw is the smarty smarts. <laughs> and, then, oh, um, okay. yeah. and then Slytherin, we did like like ISOs and like waving and like uh-huh. and stuff because it just like made sense to me because they're very calculated. Oh. Slytherins, they're very ambitious and they'll like make sure that some shit is gonna benefit them before they fucking do that shit. So they're huh. not like out here doing the most. They're like doing the least to get the most. Oh, so like makes sense. ISOs, ISOs popping little waves and then uh, yeah and then uh, and then you the puffs. <laughs> the puffs. yeah the puffs was like locking because like fucking because locking it's like it's like fun yeah it's happy yeah that was a good experience like i felt like i learned a lot as a choreographer and a lot as a producer <laughs> about i don't do that shit no more i only <laughs> if we're gonna have that many lighting changes we are going to have at least two other people working those lights. Because those lights were hot. Chanel yep. was, she had those fucking gloves on. She was, like, lifting heavy shit, like, all these sandbags. And, like, yeah, dude. And then she'd have to look at the, she'd have to run back, look at the Was camera. it just her? Yeah. You had, like, an 80, oh, wow. Because I didn't know how to do any lighting shit whatsoever. Dang, so respect. All, just- all, yeah, she, would, she had, like, seven hats on. So then she'd run and she'd look at the camera and be like, oh, and then run back in and then adjust the lighting. She- 
<laughs> Camera operator, director, uh, DP, <laughs> like, the gaffer. The gaffer. Oh, everything. My God. All the things. Respect so, to you too, man. Yeah. yeah, she killed that shit. Yeah. So that was a lot for me because I'm like, I she should not ever have to do that. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that again. But I feel like the end product, like it looked, it visually looked really cool. Yeah, I loved it. Like, in terms of lighting, like even though, you know, it's not as strong as some of the lighting stuff we've done since then, I feel like it's still, you know, it still makes sense. It still holds up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, oh, and I, then we did like a Voldemort. Oh, yeah. That's, that, I left right when you guys were starting to film that. Yeah. That was yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to So, okay. You don't, you don't do like the crazy production stuff anymore. But what, what, what kind of stuff do you like producing now? Okay. I like doing shit that's like just me and Chanel because it seems like if I'm going to add other people in, I need to like, know that they are getting value out of it and that mm. I'm getting value out of it. You know what I mean? And yeah. I just feel like it's fair. Like I personally don't like it when people ask me to do shit for them constantly for free. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And especially yeah. if it's not that close, it feels like like you're just so, you know? some rando asking. Yeah. It just feels like I, I just I just prefer I feel like what I learned from that too, like even though like the video looked good and it was nice and you know, we got it done. And those people are like homies for life because they like came through and did that. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, um, I feel like that was more, it was, it was like me learning how to dance as a character, me learning how to choreograph, me learning how like production works, like what is production even. Mm. And it was sort of this like, like uh. dive into learning production. And then as we've scaled it back, I'm like, okay, here's like the ideal scenario. Mm. Like everyone on set feels either is getting like paid enough to feel respected or is there because they're also a collaborative partner or, you know what I mean? Like I want every person there to be, to feel respected and valued. Mm -hmm. You know, not that people didn't cause they, they were all friends and they had fun. Like, no, it was fun hanging out. Like I got to hang out with Eddie and NJ. That's like my mentality is like, I want it to be, I just want it to be like better and better. Yeah. every time. So when it's like me and Chanel, we can do like shit that takes forever <laughs> Because we understand, like, mm. shit takes a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we're, we're getting, like, so much stronger, too. Like, I feel like I have such a different perception now of production and how to, like, do dance and production together mm -hmm. than I did then. Yeah. I'm a whole different person <laughs> in terms of how I plan everything. So, yeah, I have, like, so many thoughts about that. But, yeah, I would say, like, my creative process was like hardly like the dancing part of it like was cool but I feel like the lasting effects were like so much more about like relationships and collaboration and production and like what I like what kind of things I want to create and why yeah you know so it was definitely more like kind of like a ready fire aim kind of thing we dove all the way the fucking <laughs> respect. Let's have 25 people in the house. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised that your neighbors weren't mad or anything. They're fine. Yeah, so well, if your they, area is kind of chill. Fine. Especially okay. at that time, the neighbor had sex so loud every night. Oh. You can't complain at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> respect. It's just died down, but it's like they can't say no. <laughs> if, 